Where is your father in all this? Oh, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? Do you talk to him about this? No. Does he talk to you about it? No. Nope. Do you love your father? Yeah. Does he love you? Yes. Do you have a good relationship with him? Nope. Can I say something? Not yet. What do you want from your father that you're not getting? Everything. Love, attention. You miss that from him? Yes. What did you want to say? When she was 12, she got raped. And after she got raped, her father and called her names. And after that, she didn't even go over there for a whole year. He didn't even try. He just belittled her. And so I finally put my foot down and told him, listen, she's seeking attention from the wrong guys. You need to be a part of her life. I don't care if you want to be a part or not, you're going to. And I made him start taking her every other weekend like he was supposed to. Stephanie, I want you to look at me. Do you think that I want to help you? I do. This is not your fault. You didn't look at me. You didn't do anything wrong here. I know you think you're grown up, but right now you're still very much a child. I don't say that to be condescending to you. I'm not saying that to put you down. When you are a victim of rape, it changes how you think about yourself. It changes how you see yourself. It causes you to feel like you're damaged in some way. It causes you to think that that's all you have to offer. But that, look at me, that's not true. You are a young, vibrant, intelligent young woman and you have to be your own best friend here. Now, I'm sorry that your father is having a difficult time with this, and I will do everything within my power to help heal that broken bond. I, I, I truly will. You don't deserve his disdain. You don't deserve his rejection. You don't re deserve his judgment. And you deserve better from yourself as well. But you're not going to fix this problem because it feels good at the time. While you're with some guy, they say nice things to you, don't they? You feel loved at the time. In the moment, it feels like you are wanted and desired and accepted. But let me tell you, the kind of person that has sex with a 14-year-old girl is a sick, worthless, no good pervert. That's not who you want to be loved by. It's not who you want to spend time with. Those are sick people. There is someone in this world that is going to love you and respect you and lift you up. There is someone in this world to share your life with. But you're not ready to find that person yet. I had you sit here and hear about Rosabella. They forced her to have sex 15 times a day. They plied her with drugs. They shot her. They wouldn't let her go back to her mother. That doesn't have to happen to you. You've been hurt inside, and you're trying to fix it by these connections, and that's not what we want to do here. Do you hear what I'm saying? You, need, you, you have a wound inside, and you need help to heal that. And I'm going to get you that help.